So foundation six provides a second type of grid, which is called a block grid, and it behaves in a somewhat similar way to uh, your normal grid system. Uh, one of the key differences is that uh, by default it says here the max number of columns you can use with block grids um, is eight. Um, you'll also notice that the uh, CSS classes are a bit different. And what we're going to do in this quick video is we're going to create a layout similar to this one. So the first thing we'll want to do is um, create sort of a block item like that. And then we'll write some CSS for that. Our block is going to have a height of 200 pixels. It's going to have a width of 200 pixels, would make a nice even square. And a background color, we'll make it blue. And how about a bit of margin uh, to center it within the column. So let me save that and I'll just check it out. There you should have a nice blue square. Let's create uh, several more, about six. Now, if we wanted to lay out each of these blocks uh, in this fashion, we'd have to use these classes, small up, medium up, or large up, along with the number of boxes uh, per row. So to do that, I'm going to create a div with a row class. And then uh, within that, I'll create another one with a column class. Now, this is one of the key differences between a block grid and a normal layout grid. Your column um, div will have a single uh, column class. And within that, you'll have your content. In our case, it's a block. And I wanted six of these, so going to copy this again and paste it five more times for a total of six and let's check it out before we add the uh, up classes you can see here we're not quite finished we still need to add uh, something similar to this so for small screens Let's keep it one block per row. And we'll do that by typing small dash up dash one. The up part is key. For medium, we'll make it three. And for large, we'll make it five. So let's save this and come back, refresh, and hopefully, as you can see, we now have our columns uh, of blocks laid out nice and even. If we enter responsive design mode, we'll see that when we get to a medium size screen, we'll have three boxes per row as we specified, and on small, uh, one. So that's the block grid system. There's one more thing I want to mention. Um, as stated before, the max number of columns you can use in a block grid are eight. So if we were to use, let's go back to large, and let's put 12, and we copy these again. We'll copy all six of them for a total of 12 blocks. and Save it. You'll see that our large dash up dash 12 class was ignored, but if we were to change it to eight, we would see uh, eight boxes at the top and uh, the remaining four at the bottom. Now, one thing you'll notice here is my margins have gone away and it's probably because the full width of the row is smaller than the total of each of the boxes added together. So I've got about eight, which is about 1600 pixels, where the max row or the max width of this row is uh, 1200.
so we've got some overlapping. I wonder if we add this expanded class. Ah, there we go. Uh, since we have a full width row, we have we now have our margins back. Let's see what happens when we go to medium, and finally small. That's going to be it for the block grids. Hope you enjoyed watching this quick video.